Hello, this is Mike with Airstream Adventures. Today we're going to take a look at installing our Blue Ox Sway Pro system. To begin with, we're going to take a look at the saddles first. There's some components on the saddles that we need to be aware of. First off is we have a notch on the front side here. This is where the link of our chain will actually sit in there and secure in position. Also, we have a mechanism here which will unlock the system. Also, we have a peg and a notch. If we release the locking mechanism, pull out on it, we can rotate this component back and forth. If we let go of that, rotate it to where the peg meets the notch, it locks in place. And here's the other side of that pin locking in place. Those are just a few items to be aware of before we install the saddle on the trailer. Also, please note, each one of these saddles are universal saddles. In other words, they're interchangeable. There isn't a left or a right. So either one can go on either side of the trailer. Just note that this component will rotate forward on one side, it'll rotate backwards on the other side once it's installed. Now we can begin with installing our saddles. To begin, we're gonna place the saddle on the frame. Measuring the distance from the center of the cup to the center of the hex on the saddle. Approximately 30 inches, plus or minus one inch. Right about there. Now we need to secure the saddle. There's a bolt and a nut on the inside of the saddle, on the inside of the frame. We want to tighten down the bolt first. A half inch wrench will tighten that down. Tighten down as tight as you can get it, leaving the nut loose at first, and then we're going to secure the nut. That'll lock that bolt in place and keep it from loosening up. Just tighten down the nut. Now we can move on to installing the second saddle using the same procedures as the first. Now that we've completed installing our second saddle, we can move on to installing the stinger and ball on our tow vehicle. The stinger and ball normally come complete and pre-assembled. In some cases though, if you're having the unit, the box, or the Sway Pro, Blue Ox Sway Pro system sent to you, it may require some assembly. There is a hole here that's gonna line up with a hole on your tow vehicle hitch. Slide it in till the holes line up. Slide the pin in and put in your clip. You hear it snap, it's in place. Now we can go ahead and back up our tow vehicle to the hitch on the trailer. Okay, now that we have our tow vehicle positioned with the ball of the stinger directly underneath the cup of the trailer hitch, we can go ahead and lower the trailer hitch down onto the ball. We want to be sure that our latch here is in the upright position. That's in the down position. We want to be sure it's in the upright position. To do so, you slide it forward and up. There's a tongue down below here that allows it to move forward to lock in underneath the ball. When the up position, it retracts that tongue to release that locking mechanism. So in the up position, we can lower the trailer cup down onto the ball. Now that the hitch is resting on the ball of the truck, we can go ahead and lock it in place. Two things we want to be aware of are these two holes right here. In the locked position, these holes will line up. Sometimes they won't line up. In that case, sometimes you'll have to go up and down on the hitch to get them to line up after we've latched this in place. First step is to latch it in place, take a look at our holes. In this case, they are lined up. We can go ahead and slide our secure pin in place. But if they weren't lined up, it would look something like that. To get that to snap in place, we would go up and down on our electric hitch to get that to snap in place, and then we can put our locking pin in place. Now we're ready to install the Sway Pro bar into the receiver of the tow vehicle hitch. One end of the Sway Pro bar 
has a circular recessed area. It's gonna go into the receiver on the trailer hitch and lock it to place underneath this snap peg. Once you slide it in, you'll see the peg raise, and then you may hear it snap in place. Once it's in the down position, the bar is locked in place. If you rotate the arm over, we can count from the end of our chain the number of links one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take that seventh link. We're gonna unlock this component, this rotating component of the saddle. We're gonna take that seventh link, rotate that notch of the component in a downward position so that it will receive that seventh link right into that slot. Wrap the rest of the chain around the top of the saddle. Put our locking wrench, our turning wrench in place, rotate it down until you hear this mechanism click into place. Now it's locked in place. You can see where the notch is up against the peg. That means it's locked in place. This component here, this locking me mechanism is recessed. That means it's locked. Then we can go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side for installing that arm on the other side of the unit. If you find difficulties in securing the chain to the rotating component of the saddle, you can raise the hitch slightly upward to release the tension of that bar to allow you to make that connection and rotate the saddle back more easily. Now that we've completed installing our Blue Ox Way Pro spring bars, we can move on to the next step. That involves installing or securing our safety chains to our tow vehicle. The safety chains are already located on the Airstream. They're located in these positions right here where they rest when they're not being used. We want to cross these chains when we connect them to the tow vehicle. That means to, from the left side, bring it over to the right side of the tow vehicle and snap it in place on the eye on the frame at the trailer hitch location. Same step, same process with the other chain. Remove it from its resting position, cross it over to the other side of the hitch on the tow vehicle, and also snap it into place on the frame or eye that's located on the hitch. Now you can see that the chains are crossed and we've pretty much created a saddle. The reason for doing that is in case the trailer hitch comes disconnected from the ball of the tow vehicle, the saddle creates a catch for the trailer hitch. Now we wanna move on to installing the safety emergency brake. The emergency brake line is this component right here. It has a pin that slides in place into this rectangular shaped little box. The pin actually pulls out. What we've done there is we've actually locked up or seized the brakes of the trailer with the pin in the out position. It's using the batteries to seize the brakes. When the pin goes back in, it releases those brakes from the battery. If we keep that pin out, the battery's gonna stay and hold those uh, brakes in a locked position. So we never really wanna pull that out. It's only used for a safety disconnect. In case the tow vehicle becomes disconnected from the trailer, this uh, cord here will cause the pin to snap out and lock up the brakes. We take one end or loop of the emergency cord, wrap it through the same eye that we locked or snapped the chain into, bring it up to the other eye or loop that's on the safety emergency brake cord and snap those two in place. Be sure there's some slack and that completes connecting our emergency brake to our tow vehicle. Once we've completed that, we can go ahead and make the connection with our seven pin connector. Again, down here at the lower area of the tow vehicle hitch, we have a cover, a spring-loaded cover that springs back. The seven pin on the trailer has a keyed area with a little peg. Open up the cover, line up the key, slide it in, and be sure that the peg of the seven pin connector slides back behind the little tab that's on the cover. That pretty much holds it and locks it in place. Not quite done yet, we just need to be sure that we retract. Our, our trailer hitch all the way. Once it's retracted all the way, we can remove our locking blocks and we're ready to travel down the road. That completes the step process of installing our Blue Ox Way Pro trailer hitch to our tow vehicle and securing it in place to our trailer.
On some of our units, we have electric hitches that have an extension tube inside the hitch stand that allows you to extend that stand down and then lock it in position. That allows you to raise the hitch of the trailer up high enough so you can bring in the tow vehicle ball underneath the hitch cup. This replaces having to use your locking blocks to raise the hitch. Now we're ready to go ahead and remove our components or connections from our trailer to the tow vehicle. It's just a reverse process of what we did to make the connections. We're gonna pull out the seven pin connector, move it out of the way, disconnect our emergency brake cable, keep it out of the way, unhook our chains, and we wanna bring those back so they stay in the cross position. Now the chains remain crossed when we just move those hooks straight forward and make those connections. We've got everything uh, disconnected except for the spring bars, so we'll move on to disconnecting our spring bars next. Now we're ready to remove our spring bars. You may find that the spring bars are under a lot of load or tension. You try to move them, they're very difficult to move. That means there's a lot of load or tension on those spring bars. To remove that load or tension, we can raise our hitch to a point that decreases or lessens that load or tension. Now you can see the spring bar moves back and forth fairly easily. We wanna be sure before we start that process that our trailer hitch is still secured to the stinger on our tow vehicle. We can take our wrench, put it in place. Here's our locking mechanism. We're gonna pull that locking mechanism out and rotate it forward. Releasing the chain from the slotted position on that rotating component. Then we'll just repeat the process for the other side. Now that we've removed our spring bars from our tow hitch on our trailer, we can go ahead and complete the process of disconnecting the trailer from the tow vehicle. The first thing we want to do is remove our pin from the latching mechanism, slide the mechanism forward and pull up. That releases the tongue underneath the ball. And then we could raise the uh, hitch simply up over or above the ball and we're ready to remove our stinger. Again, removing the stinger, we want to pull our clip out, slide our pin sideways and then slide the stinger out. With regards to the saddles, it's your choice to either remove the saddles or leave them in place. If you choose to leave them in place, you wanna check the nut and bolt for tightness every now and then. That concludes our video demonstration of our Blue Ox Sway Pro installation and disconnect from our trailer to our tow vehicle. Thank you for watching our video. For more information, please visit us at airstreamadventures.com.